Hello everyone, it is Tuesday, no, Friday, <laughs> Tuesday, um, Friday the 11th of December. I am just down to make myself some lunch slash breakfast, as it's been a very busy morning dealing with um, emails from being off for the last few days. I don't know what I'm going to have, I'll have a look, but it is very cold and I've made come see on in the hopes that I get to take pictures today. <sighs> Again, no makeup, but I'm hoping that I get to put it on. Um, yeah, I need to open my advents. So what I'm going to do is make some lunch and then advent time, I think. Oh, busy day. Yeah, the only thing about taking time off is coming back to 242 emails, I think, this morning. Yeah, my mother picked up some delicious, tasty scones. She's gone out shopping with Sophia for the day. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna have a delicious, tasty scone. Thanks, mommy. So I've just finished my lunch and I'm just about to open my advents before I get back to work. Um, so I've opened my sweet sparrow. I've opened day four and day 11. So day four is this beautiful tonal gray or brown, sorry, with uh, specks of like navy blue and teal. And this is called wild geese. It's beautiful. I usually am, I'm not a very brown person, but this one's really, really pretty. Um, it looks, it's quite like my cats who are just sitting here beside me and I'm looking at them. Yeah, it could be, could be tabby colour. And this is gorgeous. This is so pretty. This is called We Shall Walk in Velvet Shoes. And it is a beautiful, like, pinky, red, muted, dusky, rosy colour and it is beautiful. Love it. These two, I'd say I'm going to put all my Sweet Sparrow um, skeins out together once they're opened and then kind of order them based on maybe light to dark, maybe for my cardigan, but they're all going to go so beautifully together. Like even these are quite different, but just tonally they're beautiful. So yes, um then day 11 of my homespun house is this beautiful neon which i'm not really a neon person but i really am loving this calendar because it's quite outside of my normal and the yarn is just delicious it's so squishy so delightful and this, so this is neon pinks sorry Pip is scratching her ear and moving the camera. <laughs> Neon pinks and oranges and yellows, blues on a kind of creamy-ish base. Gorgeous. Um, and in my sweet sparrow, I got a little sweetie, which I'm going to eat soon. Um, so let's see what I got in my Lay Family yarn swap. Sorry for the crinkling. Ooh, this is pretty. This is a lovely tonal or um cream base and like speckles of different lots of different colours. It's purple, blue, green, yellow, pretty, and a chocolate coin. I love chocolate money, it's just so nice. And day eleven of giddy yarns. So sorry for the noise, it probably sounds horrendous. Probably have opened them before I came on. Oh, this is Christmassy. Look how Christmassy this is. 
this is so the base is quite is kind of pinky toned and then red and green and yellow kind of speckles this is really pretty this is from giddy yarns let's see where what our fact of the day is i'm not sure if the um yarn is based on the the history i think it is probably cromwell cancels christmas Oh, Cromwell, what an awful human. Um, so <laughs> between 1644 and 1660, during Cromwell's reign as Lord Protector of the Commonwealth of England, Scotland and Ireland, Parliament banned all celebration of feast days. Crom Crom Cromwell believed that Christmas was wasteful and encouraged carnal delights. People were instead encouraged to spend the day in restful contemplation. However, people celebrated in secret, caroling and feasting behind closed doors. When the monarchy was restored, there was a resurgence in Christmas carols and many of the ones we sing today were composed in celebration, such as O Come All Ye Faithful. That's nice. Cromwell's awful. <laughs> That's a nice fact. And these, this is beautiful. So my skeins today, I've got so many, but these are all so pretty and so different today, actually. So I need to, I'm going to get my um, Swift out this evening and, or maybe tomorrow and wind up all my minis for my blanket. I won't do my Sweet Sparrow ones until they're all done for my cardigan. But yes, it's half one. So I'm back to work. I <sighs> had an hour off there, so I've a hundred and well, I had a hundred and nineteen emails to go when I uh, took my lunch break. So hopefully they haven't rebuilt in the last hour. But who knows? See y'all later. So a few people have asked me about the shelving unit um, that we have, and I'll just show you what some of the stuff is on. It. Um, a lot of it is just books, and they're mainly my dad's books because he likes reading physical ones, particularly Joe Nesbo. Um, we, I got him a Kindle one year for Christmas, and he never used it. Uh, I think this is a wedding present. I think it's like gold-plated. It's a cool little bowl. Little angels. I think that was a graduation present for my sister. Um, some candles. Um, we have like one of these cool old fashioned phones. It does work. Um, <laughs> but it just takes ages to dial. It's cool. Um, got nice little, little signage just in case we forget where we are. <laughs> it was my mum's birthday yesterday, so we have some birthday cards up. Um, just some family pictures, lots of candles actually, I realized. Um, these are awards that my sister won in school for being super smart. More books, more books, more books. This is like a set of the classics and they're really cool. Mammy mainly bought these for the covers, which is really bad, but they are really pretty. Um, more candles, little teddy bear, little plane. <laughs> and then a nice lamp. Nova. Ah, 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 ah. Oh God, I need to wash my hair really bad. Um, I might be going out for dinner tomorrow though, so I'm gonna have a big, big, big shower tomorrow. Um, I'm just working on my pinwheel scrap blanket. So I've most of this done. Put it down on the ground. Um. Most of this got done when I was watching the movie last night. Oh, this is so cute. It looks like it's micro striping. Um, and yeah, this is block three. I need to wind up this many minis. So I'm gonna set up my swift now and do that. And then I might show you my crochet blanket because I've showed that pretty much every Vlogmas since 2017. So I'll show you where I am on that now. To prepare yourself for a feast of colour. Crochet blanket about to be shown. Ah, isn't it massive? Ignore all them frames. God, my room is so messy. I need to clean it tomorrow. Um, so 
isn't it huge? <laughs> Um, I think I made it too big at the start, to be honest, but I do love it and it's going to be so, so snuggly. Um, each row takes me so long. Um, but this, I started this project, I think, in 2017. And there's so much yarn in here. But where is the Christmas tree? Let me see. The Christmas tree is where I, yeah, here it is. <laughs> um, so here's the Christmas tree. And this is where... I the amount I've done this year, which is quite a lot. Um, it's about 50 rows. Um, so nearly a row a week is kind of what I was aiming or what I managed to do. And it's just huge. God, my room is so messy. Please ignore it. Isn't it pretty though? Isn't it pretty? Yep, so that's the yearly crochet check-in. <laughs> See you again next year. So this is a star bar. This is my favorite chocolate bar. It is um, Cadbury's and it has peanut butter, peanuts, caramel, chocolate. It's everything you could possibly want in a confection. Delicious. Um, I also adore peanut butter M&M's, but you can't get them here. But you can very rarely in like kind of specialist shops that like deal with like American things. So they'd have like, you know, Twinkies and things and they cost like four times the price. Sometimes I, I'm willing to pay it. <laughs> um, but when I go to America, I usually come home with like a suitcase full of giant bags of peanut butter M&M's. Have a problem. So I've just come up from watching um, Casino Royale and I finished a square. I really like this one. Um, it's pretty, isn't it? So I finished that and I was knitting on a tiny jumper too. I finished, um, I had one arm on another tiny jumper. I'm just about to slit sleeves for this one. So that'll be a nice green one. Um, so I might knit one or two more rows on that and then it's going to be bedtime. It's quite late. <laughs> it's half twelve. I didn't realise it was so late. No, I'll probably go sleep now. Although there's a little Pip here beside me and I don't like disturbing her. Excuse me. <laughs> um, but I will see you all in the morning. Um, yeah, sweet dreams. Bye.